TB doesn't get the recognition that it needs to in the United States. When I was in medical school, it was always something that was not top priority. It was always on the bottom of the list. Our attending physician would ask, what do you think this patient has? TB was always last. I knew after I got my master's in public health that I wanted to do some global health work. My first job was working on a project with multi-drug resistant TB in Swaziland. That training basically shaped what I have become now. There are almost 9 million people in New York City. It's a microcosm of the world. In this day and age, we are a global society. We're just one plane ride away from some deadly illness. We think of TB as a disease that affects other countries. The U.S. is rather rich and that oh, it's been a poor person's disease. If you have a disease that's airborne, no amount of money is going to save you from getting that disease. This is very much a disease that is part of our city. Living conditions are very cramped. And you see that in the morning rush hour. It's a perfect breeding ground to transmit TB. Healthcare workers in general are scared of getting TB. I have a feeling that I will become positive working at this clinic. So you don't think this is actually positive. I kind of think it is positive. When a PPD is positive, it means that you have the TB bacteria in your lungs. Mm -hmm. Have you known anybody that has had TB? Mm -hmm. No. Well, the first thing I need to do is examine you, okay? I need to look inside your mouth, um, take okay. a listen, um, and then we'll talk about what else we need to do around this. People are not willing to come forward to tell you that they have TB or that they think they may have TB. It's not easy to treat. There's tons of medications involved. Physicians, we see about 20 to 25 patients a day, and we potentially could expose all of our patients if one of us had TB. This is not a disease of the Chinese. It's not a disease of people from India or Mexico. As long as you are around anybody that has TB, you can actually get TB. If this continues, you will have a problem in the US. Tuberculosis has been with us for a very long time, and if there was a TB vaccine, you would save many, many lives. A vaccine would not only protect us as a community of healthcare workers, but it actually would protect the people that we serve, which means one day there would be no more TB. Yeah.